Hello and welcome to Hayes Education's NQT job video. My name is Ben Evans, Senior Consultant and Account Manager here at Hayes Education, part of Hayes Specialist Recruitment, the UK's largest and most successful specialist recruitment group. I am here to tell you about how we can support you in the ever so daunting task of applying for jobs in September. We have placed over a thousand members of staff within schools nationally and over 70% of these were NQTs just like yourselves. Now as an NQT we can offer you a dedicated consultant to assist you through the process of applications with the guidance and counselling on your career as a teacher. You will also have your own personal account on our Hayes website where you can upload your CV and tailor job alerts for yourself. Now nationally we work with over 4,000 schools and academies and 250 of these work with us on a permanent basis alone, most of which are in your local area. Now here are a couple of our head teachers to give you some top tips on how to become the best NQT. So there are many things, but there are three key reasons why you might uh, choose a particular school. And one has got to be the ethos and mood of the school. Is it a healthy school that looks after its staff and develops its staff? And make sure that you have a tour. Make sure you get around not just in the building, but around the surrounding area, in the streets. Is this a kind of place that you're going to love going to every day and love participating in? And thirdly, that relationship with the head of department. You'll meet the head on your interview, but the person you're going to be working with mostly day to day, minute by minute, is going to be the head of department. Do you have a constructive relationship? relationship with that person and is your department going to be a sort of group of um, high qualified professionals that you're going to learn from and develop your subject knowledge? Well, for me the main things they should be uh, considering are the location of the school in relation to where they want to live. Um, they should also consider the reputation of the school and what links they might have with the school, i.e. do they know anyone that works there that could help them with their development or know anyone that has worked there in the past and can recommend them as a good place to work. First of all, spelling and grammar, because the amount of applications that come through are it's not accurate. They just, they honestly do get put in the bin. They're not lying, they get put in the bin. Second one is put down all your relevant qualifications. You've done your GCSEs, be proud of them. They should be on there. People want to know what your interests, or what in interests are. They do want to know your grades, so don't think just because you did them so many years ago they're not relevant, they are, so keep, put them on there. Um, make sure that it's original, make sure that you are kind of, you show the school that it's them you're applying to, that this is not just an, a generic um, statement that you're sending out to everybody, make sure that you're saying why you're applying to that school in particular, what is it about the job that attracted you, um, show that you know about the school, if they've got a particular specialism, um, make sure that you're saying that that's what you're attracted to and this is why you think you're suitable for the post. So show that you know who you're applying to and what's special about that school. Usually as a part of an application, you need to submit either a personal or supporting statement and you need to ensure that is specific to the school that you're applying to. Always include an opening paragraph as to why you're applying for that school and why you're interested in that role and why you want to work there. I like to read that um, the person applying for the job has got a respect for teaching, a respect for the profession, that they accept that it's going to be hard work. Um, but they demonstrate that they've got the, the right attitude to get through that and that they're willing to learn. Good preparation. Preempt some of the questions. Plan some good answers. And a good answer should provide examples, again, of your practice. Um, succinct points and some forward thinking as well. But also have a sense of humour. When preparing for a lesson observation, it is common practice that schools don't give you the entire information for your lesson. Do not be afraid to ask for additional details, such as data, what resources are available in the class, if the topic is an introduction to the topic, asking for the exam board, and also what additional um, support and students that you need to be aware of. First and foremost, write a plan. So many people turn up and they don't have a lesson plan, and that's not 
in any way impressive. Have a plan, make sure it's detailed, get someone else to read it through for you before and check through it with you to give you that added boost of confidence. Give it in, tell them I have a lesson plan, make sure there's enough copies for everybody who is observing, please do that. Contact the school. If you know the class you're teaching, ask, is there students with SEN? Is there EAL students in this lesson? And plan for those students. They will appreciate you taking an interest in the group that you're teaching. And above anything, it's got to be about resilience and stamina. Um, the whole of teaching is a, a marathon, not a sprint, and you can't try and do everything with all of your pupils all of the time. Uh, so not getting stressed, always being patient. It's about those qualities of personality that get you through the uh, In terms of practical terms, keeping a sort of marking uh, timetable, so you're not trying to do all your marking on a Sunday night, that you're getting through everything Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, and making time at the weekend where you're off duty where you're not answering emails and that you've got a system for um, answering emails that doesn't impinge on your social life, your rest life, uh, and making sure you get enough sleep, I would say, is one of those key areas that you can get through the whole year. Uh, I think keep things in perspective. Um, don't panic if things aren't going so well at the start. You know, Just realise where you're at in your professional career. Realise that things take time and realise that you'll get better and you know if you keep working hard and showing the right attitude and listening to the right people the things will be fine your well-being as a teacher is key looking after yourself you give so much energy away you are working so so hard teachers forget about themselves and they burn out you mustn't if there's something that really makes you happy, whether you go kickboxing, whether you go painting, cycling at the weekend, don't give it up. Don't give it up. That's your thing. And it will power you through. You keep doing that thing. Keep doing what makes you joyful. And it will give you the energy and the positivity to kind of get through that year. I think anybody choo thinking of choosing what school to go to, Bishop China is perfect for them. Uh, we are a Christian school with a Christian ethos of love and of um, sharing the ideals such as tolerance and understanding and patience, the gifts of the spirit in a sense. And as a federation that works with two schools, teaching girls separately and boys separately, uh, any teacher coming to work with us would have an innovative um, way of learning about what pedagogy is and how we take that forward to make the best possible uh, achievements for our pupils. I think if you come here, you're going, to be in, you're going to be involved in something that is quite different and highly innovative. So we're a split-site school, but instead of being split upper school, lower school, we're running two mini-schools, which is virtually unique in the country. Um, so that's one important reason. Secondly, we've got a philosophy here which is quite distinct around systematic shared practice. So we've, we're highly organised, very clear schemes of work, uh, very, a lot of opportunities to share and plan together so that if you come here wanting to teach a good lesson day in, day out, it's probably easier here, I think, than in many schools. And we, the other thing that I think is... is I, everybody always remarks about is how nice the students are here. They are a really good bunch of students and anybody who comes in and walks around that sees that. So if you do plan your lessons well, if you do make a good, good fist of it, then they respond really well. So it's a very rewarding place to be. And as I say, it's an in, we're, we're operating in a way that very few schools in the country do. And um, well, certainly for me, that's exciting. So thanks for watching our Hayes NQT job video. Um, I hope that you found it useful, but also giving you some top tips on the process of application, but also interviews as well. If you do have any further questions on how to apply through Hayes, please feel free to give us a call and to order one of our brochures. It will also give you information on the many offices that we have across the country. Now, again, good luck with your job search, and we hope to see you in September. Bye now.